Hi everyone, welcome. I'm gonna pick it up where I left yesterday. I was hanging around with my bro, we were goofing around. We took the wing out. No more wing. <laughs> we took the exhaust out. Yeah, just doing some funny stuff. But uh, yeah, now I'm back and I feel like I should do something. So I have this. I have this whiteboard behind me. I went ahead and bought a marker, so I think I should write up all the stuff that needs to be done to the cars. By the way, this is what I meant. I was just looking at a car yesterday the whole time. Just looking at it with the wing. Like my goal is to mold it and make it stick out like this. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna look cool. I've seen some people do it. Might try and replicate it. Also, it needs some um, repairs here it's all cracked up either way i got distracted again with this beautiful ass so god damn it let's do this Well, that looks about right. It's not perfectly straight, but it's good enough so I can keep myself organized. So, um, there's a lot of things that I could note here up and uh, I think I think I'll just go ahead and write everything I know. Um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that needs to be done, but uh, I'll just write everything in a long, long list and I'll just uh, draw a star or something to the things that needs to be prioritized. So yeah, I'll just start up drawing and I'll take you guys when I'm done with it. Remembering all the points of the car that I need to be fixed is not an easy task. It took me some while. I had to go open up all the doors and the trunk and everything. There's definitely a lot more hidden stuff that I'm not aware of, but uh, after all, it's a 30 year old car. What can you expect from it? Here I am, I'm done with the list. There's a lot of points. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna go through all of them so you can pause the video if you wanna read everything if you can read my poor scribbles but yeah as you can see there's a lot of points on the s13 and not so much on the miata there actually are more points on the miata but i haven't worked on this car in a while so i haven't like remembered everything yet but a lot of points to be done but now at least i can hold focus and see how much time i have what can i do today what can i do the next day what do I need and stuff like that. So everything's written down. I should do like a list for the parts that I need to buy as well. I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, so I did that. Um, I have I have this nice little flag with S13 that I bought on a sale like some time ago. So I was thinking it wasn't really fitting in my apartment. So I'm going to hang it up here in the garage. Well, I'm not sure if I like how it looks there, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it hanging for now. Uh, I might just move it later to this wall or somewhere, I don't know. Um, either way, uh, not sponsored by the way. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's actually the Christmas Eve today, so I don't think I'll be doing much. Uh, I made a list, so that's good. Now I can think a little bit, what should I do next? But for now, I think I'm going to take a little pause and I'll take this from the next day so it is the next day i'm kind of standing here cluelessly and looking at this uh, table i marked some points with uh, stars that are important but yeah i don't have the parts to do the important stuff i think i'll just go with the flow and i'll see what i can do <laughs> so i have came up with a plan um, i got some construction foam I'm going to make the spare tire insert. You'll see what I mean just in a bit. Once I'm done with the foam, I'll move on to the front of the car and I'll try to find a fuel leak and check why is it over boosting. So that sounds like a pretty good thing to do today. So I'll get right to it. Mm. 
this is the trunk area and I think I'll just put some plastic film on the inside, I'll tape it and I'll fill the rest with the construction foam and then I will cut it flush so I have a straight uh, trunk floor it's going to be lightweight and it's going to serve as a sound dampening and actually heat insulation as well but that doesn't matter for the car so yeah, that's the game plan I'll get to it so here I am just laying down a piece of plastic film just so the foam expands and takes the correct shape it was a little bit tedious process, it's not easy to work with this film because it's uh, floating around all the time. This is how it's looking when it's all masked up. I got this tiny can of foam. I hope it's enough. It should be, um, I think. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to start slowly filling it out from the outside to the in, trying to make some small layers. For me, the most important thing is that the top is somewhat straight and uh, filled up. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, um, <laughs> there was surprisingly little from one can. So by the looks of it, I need to take another big can or even two to fill this thing up. I will see how much does it sw swallows up. How much does it swells up? <laughs> so yeah, but uh, it's looking good so far. I quickly learned that the construction foam is not a cheap thing. I already spent eight euros on this project. Don't want to spend any more. So I found this piece of uh, like insulation styrofoam thing. So I'm going to build a little contraption there to save the foam. And yeah, you'll just see, you'll just see. Yeah, I think the temperature in the garage was a little bit too cold and the foam wasn't expanding as fast as I would like to. But uh, I think in the end it uh, came out all right. I put some two pieces of wood, a battery on top, it's filled with the foam, there's some insulation bits in there, just to save some foam, so over time it's going to just swell up, expand and press against here, so all the excess foam will come out from the sides, and I think it should be good, if not, in the worst case I need to touch up with a small can of foam, but I hope not. While this thing is expanding and waiting to dry, I can go to the front of the car and start to look for the fuel leak and the uh, overboost thing. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to fix this, but I think I will try and check this um, waste gate flap. Is it working? It seems like the pin is connected. It should be moving, but yeah, I guess I will need to deep dive a little bit deeper in there and see what's the status with that. It might be that the flap on the inside is loose or it might be that this thing ain't working but damn it looks like it's all connected as it be as it should be so I'm not sure I'm not sure so I just went through the all the vacuum lines this seems to be correct um, so then I was thinking about the turbo why it could be over boosting I want to take off this safety pin of the waste gate, it's a bit difficult to see that one. So I'll take it off and I'll move the flap around and here if it's making noise, like a closing and opening noise, if that's good, I might just need to adjust this rod because it could be too tensioned up. So it's just stuck open all the time. So I can make it shorter that way it can close and open. So yeah, that is the game plan. Okay, so it feels like the, the flap is working fine. So I think I just need to fine tune the wastegate rod. So by the looks of it, if I put the flap all the way back, now it's closed. The rod is about a centimeter back. So I need to extend this rod. And I think after that, I should not have any overboost issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see, see the results. All right, so. The flap is closed all the way here and the rod slides on freely. So now what's left is just to put the safety pin here and the safety locking nut needs to be tightened, just like so. I think this should fix the overboost issue. I hope the diaphragm isn't damaged from this wrong uh, setup. 
but I'll find that out on the summer. Yeah, it's a little bit funny because I made this mistake myself. I haven't adjusted the wastegate ever since I put the new turbo on the car. So I wasn't really like aware of it. Either way, that's taken care of. I hope it's gonna work. The next thing to do is I need to find the fuel leak. I'll just turn on the fuel pump and see where is it leaking from. I thought I could do this satisfying thing and stroke out this thing. Boop. That's done. I'm just gonna put a question mark. Is it really fixed? I don't know, we'll see that. Yeah, I'll just sit in the car, turn on the fuel pump and see where is it leaking from. So I spent some time trying to find the leak, but it's gone, there's nothing happening. Um, it's really strange. I don't want it to happen at the track day because leaking fuel equals fire and that's not good. I don't want to burn my car down. However, yeah, I can't find it and I don't know what's wrong with it. So I've been working a little bit off camera. I measured the distance between the bolts on the wing. I'm going to drill new holes for the wing, try to mount it and then I'll have to do some fine adjusting on the legs. A little bit of messing around later. I think I got where I wanted to sit. Um, the bolt holes are aligned. They just need to be tightened up. I hope the bolts are long enough because there is a massive layer of bone though on that trunk. That's why I'm not like so worried about it. As you saw, well placed like this. It looks kind of ugly, but yeah. I mean, it's a drift car, so. <laughs> So I finally found the appropriate nuts, it took me a while, I cleaned up the threads for the bolts, so now I just need to install it. Okay, trunk update, the foam is getting a little bit hard, it's still a little bit soft but it's not too bad. I'm gonna finish off filling the sides there where I'm missing and I'll come tomorrow morning and it should be good to trim. I fixed the wing and now it's sitting on there quite fast and I think I can start begin the molding process of extending these wing arms or yeah not sure how they're called. I think I'll use some bits of insulation, I'll cut the rough shape, I'll trim it with a Stanley knife. I went outside and I found some garbage in the storage that we have and this is uh, going to be perfect material to use. So here I am cutting out a piece of foam and trying to fit it 100 times over and over again. It was a little bit tedious process, but uh, I enjoyed it. It actually reminded me a little bit of art school where you had to create stuff out of nothing. So um, yeah, it was quite interesting. And uh, I think in the end it came out quite all right. You'll see in a bit. A lot of insulation bits later, here we are. I have uh, carved out a piece of styrofoam and I think I'm starting to get the shape that I want. It's not perfect, it's not there, but it's starting to take shape. So something like this from behind. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good. Finally, the second wing leg, chicken wing leg. <laughs> the second leg is finally somewhat complete in its uh, rough shape. So I'm just trying to figure out, do I like the look or not? Um, I think it's gonna be good. I'm getting a little bit tired of this and I don't want to do it all in one day And I don't think I can do it all in one day. Yeah, I didn't make it in one day So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video I'm glad you made it so far and if you feel like commenting leave a comment share with your friends and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye